Today I'd like to talk a little bit about um, whether we should consider chemicals, in particular volatile chemicals, in our biological uh, control practice. Um, to make a case for chemical ecology quickly, chemicals play an important role, as you know, in terms of uh, mediating insect and plant interactions. We know that insects, many of them, are not highly visual creatures. They use uh, smell or affection to locate their host. And so, uh, uh, therefore, uh, chemicals that are emitted by plants uh, traveling up to them are very important for them to locate the, uh, the actual host. Um, but these volatile organic, organic chemicals may be induced in response to damage. So whether this is biotic or abiotic damage, um, and this can uh, be expressed in two different ways. Either the quantity of the bouquet of volatile chemicals mm -hmm. that is emitted can be increased, um, that is, in other words, the intensity of, of the smell, um, or uh, the quality. Uh, in other words, different, uh, um, diff when, when the plant has been induced, uh, you have different types of chemicals that are coming up uh, from that plant. And these have been uh, noted in literature to have anti feeding repellent. Uh, um, uh, they also uh, uh, can help in plant-to-plant -plant communication. So one plant that's damaged can uh, actually prime another plant that is undamaged, um, and it then can increase uh, its, its allocation of defenses uh, in anticipation for, for defense that's coming up. But they can also act as cinnamons. Uh, cinnamons are, are, are chemicals that act uh, um, as, as, uh, um, as mutualistic uh, chemicals. So in other words, when, one, when, when the plants have been damaged, they send out signals and then natural enemies um, of the herbivores can then use those signals to find them and to feed on them. So this is, this is very widespread in literature. It's well known, it's well accepted. Um, and, and what I'm trying to hopefully get across to you is that if we can understand the incidence of these uh, induced plant responses in biological control, just as it is important in plant insect interaction, it may be that it is very important also in biological control of weeds. If they're important for the chemicals, are important for insects, then perhaps they are also important in biological control. So my case is uh, Lantana Kamara, that's my case study. I'm not going to dwell a lot here. You know, you know uh, uh, this cosmopolitan weed, it's found in South Africa in all but two provinces. Um, um, the important thing about it, though, is, is that uh, um, its ancestors uh, um, are thought to be in South and Central and South America. Um, so what you have here is Lantana Kamara is not really what you find back in the country, in the native country. So it's completely different genetically. And I think that's very important to take note um, in my discussion later on. Um, but also one thing that's important about it is that in work that we've done before, we've actually found that there are physical <coughs> induced responses. So besides the chemicals, some of these varieties, not all of them, some of them have the ability to induce uh, in new growth. So when, when a herbivore is fed on Montana, in the new uh, growth of its leaves, it is able to come up with uh, uh, more uh, trichomes, harder leaves, etc. In, in, in new growth. So uh, it's, um, it's basically what we call phenotypic plasticity, the, the, the plant's ability to change uh, its form um, in response to feeding. But also recently in preliminary work that I did, there was an indication, this was a little study, indication that chemicals are also induced. So volatile chemicals are also induced. But um, because of uh, um, uh, my collaborator that I was working with, he had to leave. So I couldn't really get to, to finish this. Um, so the aims of this little study that I did was to take that work further. Um, but what I did it, this time was to look at two types of mechanical damage, um, of cutting and puncturing. Now, it's well known that uh, feeding by an insect and mechanical damage doesn't always produce the same kind of responses. But mechanical damage can give an indication of whether a plant is able to induce those responses. And I think that was the point that I was, uh, my point of departure with this, uh, with this study. But also I wanted to find out the rate at which these responses are induced. Are they rapidly induced? How quickly after feeding does Lantana, is Lantana able to, uh, uh, to effect these responses? And, and uh, how long does it sustain them as well? And so I had an opportunity uh, last year to, um, to travel to Florida uh, to a chemical ecology lab to get my head around all these new things which uh, I had uh, no background on before. And I worked uh, with uh, Greg Willer at the USDA lab up in Florida. And basically what we did um, is we ran an experiment and uh, we, we had uh, um, 